Theodore William Richards January 31, 1868 to April 2, 1928 was the first American scientist to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, earning the award, "...in recognition of his exact determinations of the atomic weights of a large number of the chemical elements." Biography <inaudible> 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 Theodore Richards was born in Germantown, Pennsylvania to William Trost Richards, a land and seascape painter, and Anna Ney Matlack, a poet. Richards received most of his pre-college education from his mother. During one summer's stay at Newport, Rhode Island, Richards met Professor Josiah Parsons Cook of Harvard, who showed the young boy Saturn's rings through a small telescope. Years later Cook and Richards would work together in Cook's laboratory. Beginning in 1878, the Richards family spent two years in Europe, largely in England, where Theodore Richards' scientific interests grew stronger. After the family's return to the United States, he entered Haverford College, Pennsylvania in 1883 at the age of 14, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in 1885. He then enrolled at Harvard University and received a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1886, as further preparation for graduate studies. Richards continued on at Harvard, taking as his dissertation topic the determination of the atomic weight of oxygen relative to hydrogen. His doctoral advisor was Josiah Parsons Cook. Following a year of postdoctoral work in Germany, where he studied under Victor Meyer at the University of Göttingen and others, Richards returned to Harvard as an assistant in chemistry, then instructor, assistant professor, and finally full professor in 1901. In 1903 he became chairman of the Department of Chemistry at Harvard, and in 1912 he was appointed Irving Professor of Chemistry and Director of the new Walcott Gibbs Memorial Laboratory. In 1896, Richards married Miriam Stewart Thayer. The couple had one daughter, Grace Thayer, who married James Bryant Conant, and two sons, Greeno Thayer and William Theodore. Both sons died by suicide. Richards maintained interests in both art and music. Among his recreations were sketching, golf, and sailing. He died at Cambridge, Massachusetts, on April 2, 1928, at the age of 60. According to one of his descendants, Richards suffered from chronic respiratory problems and a prolonged depression. He was a Quaker. Topic. Scientific research About half of Richards's scientific research concerned atomic weights, starting in 1886 with his graduate studies. On returning to Harvard in 1889, this was his first line of research, continuing up to his death. According to Forbes, by 1932 the atomic weights of 55 elements had been studied by Richards and his students. Among the potential sources of error Richards uncovered in such determinations was the tendency of certain salts to occlude gases or foreign solutes on precipitation. As an example of the care Richards used in his work, Emsley reports that he carried out 15,000 recrystallizations of thulium bromate in order to obtain the pure element thulium for an atomic weight measurement. Richards was the first to show, by chemical analysis, that an element could have different atomic weights. He was asked to analyze samples of naturally occurring lead and lead produced by radioactive decay. His measurements showed that the two samples had different atomic weights, supporting the concepts of isotopes. Although Richards's chemical determinations of atomic weights were highly significant for their time, they have largely been superseded. Modern scientists use electronic instrumentation, such as mass spectrometers, to determine both the masses and the abundances of an element's isotopes. From this information, an average atomic mass can be calculated, and compared to the values measured by Richards. The modern methods are faster and more sensitive than those on which Richards had to rely, but not necessarily less expensive. Other scientific work of Theodore Richards included investigations of the compressibilities of atoms, heats of solution and neutralization, and the electrochemistry of amalgams. His investigation of electrochemical potentials at low temperatures was among the work that led, in the hands of others, to the Nernst heat theorem and the third law of thermodynamics. Although not without heated debate between Nernst and Richards, Richards also is credited with the invention of the adiabatic calorimeter as well as the nephilometer, which was devised for his work on the atomic weight of strontium. 
Topic Legacy and Honors Lowell Lectures 1908, Davy Medal 1910, Faraday Lectureship 1911, Willard Gibbs Medal 1912, President of the American Chemical Society 1914, Nobel Prize in Chemistry 1914, Franklin Medal 1916, President of the American Association for the Advancement of Science 1917, Foreign Member of the Royal Society of London 1919, President of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences President 19 to 1921 Lavoisier Medal 1922 Leblanc Medal 1922 Honorary Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh 1923 Member of the International Atomic Weights Committee Theodore Richards Medal 1932 Awarded posthumously Topic Selected Writings Richards Theodore W 1915 Concerning the compressibilities of the elements and their relations to other properties Journal of the American Chemical Society American Chemical Society. 37 7, 1643 and n 1656. doi 10.1021, ya 0 2172A001. PMC 1090843. Richards, Theodore W., Forbes, George Shannon. 1906. Energy changes involved in the dilution of zinc and cadmium amalgams. Carnegie Institution Report. Carnegie Institution of Washington, 1 and n-68. Richards, Theodore W. 1913. The Scientific Work of Morris Loeb. Harvard University Press. Topic see also Mass Spectrometry Johns Jakob Berzelius Farrington Daniels Gilbert Newton Lewis Jean Stas Theodore W. Richards House Topic References Topic Further reading Conant, James Bryant 1974. Theodore William Richards. Biographical Memoirs. National Academy of Sciences, U.S., 44. pp. 251 and n-286. Huddleston, John Henry, 1907. Secretary's Report, Harvard Class of 1886. New York. pp. 132 and n-133. External links Nobel Prize Biography Theodore Richards Medal